بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسد یعقوب ہیئر ویل گائز ویری ریسنٹلی ون آف مائی اسٹوڈینٹس ہی اپیئر ان ہز اسپیکنگ ٹیسٹ اینڈ ہز اسپیکنگ واز ریموٹ اسپیکنگ اینڈ ایٹ دا ٹائم آف اسپیکنگ پارٹ ون وینٹ ویل ان پارٹ ٹو ایگزیمنر showed him the cue card on screen but there was no cue card he was unable to see the cue card and he was given one minute preparation time and there was no cue card he called the invigilator invigilator checked the screen there was no cue card there and after one minute examiner said you will now have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes and he was totally you know puzzled what to do now no cue card If he would speak, like it could be against the topic and all that. So he couldn't perform well and he made complaint at the same time. Whenever anything goes wrong in IELTS and that is uh, by their management. I mean, if, if anything uh, like goes wrong and it is on the part of the management, you need to make complaint easily, uh, immediately. I mean, to the people who are there. Second, if it is British Council or IDB, you need to make complaint there. And then you can complain the big daddy and that is Cambridge. So you need to let them know whatever happened. Now, what happened to this student? He made complaint immediately and then they allowed him to sit for another speaking test where everything was perfectly fine. Now, you know, sometimes you don't raise your voice. I mean, for example, you're having your IELTS test, listening test and the audio, I mean, the, the headphones don't work. You miss two to three answers and then you have the compromising nature and all that. No, you pay a huge amount to sit for IELTS exam. So if anything goes wrong by management or it is on the end of management, you need to highlight the issue and they will resolve it. One of my students who appear in computer delivered IELTS, listening started and the audio went on and then he was totally puzzled he didn't know how to use mouse and click and type and all that and he was totally panicked when he was panic stricken one of the invigilators observed that and he told the invigilator i cannot do it my heartbeat is very fast and i can't do it it's out of my control and i'm going to become unconscious and then they immediately cancelled that test And that candidate, he, he said, I would like to go for paper delivered IELTS. I cannot do computer delivered IELTS. So then they charged him some money and they allowed him to sit in paper delivered IELTS. And then he prepared, he sat in paper delivered IELTS and he got his desired ban. I'm telling you all these things because, I mean, this is your right. Okay, this is, this is very important. Once what happened? One of my students, he went for his speaking test here in Pakistan and speaking test started, examiner started the test. After five, six questions, examiner said, oh my God. And the student said, I didn't do anything. I mean, <laughs> that's not my fault. Why did examiner say, oh my God. And then examiner said, uh, well, gentlemen, I'll call you again. And by that time, he was totally, you know, puzzled what happened. I didn't say anything. Why did the examiner say, oh my God, what happened was examiner had forgotten to turn on the audio device because, you know, they record your speaking test. So examiner is also human, right? And then they invited him second time for the speaking test. By that time, he had lost his mind. He had lost his confidence and he couldn't perform well in his speaking test. Then he contacted me, told me all the story. I said, you call them immediately and say, well, the second test didn't go well because of the examiner's behavior. Allow me to have another speaking test. And they, then they allowed him to sit for another speaking test. Okay, so all these things are there. If anything goes wrong, anything, Whatever, you need to highlight that issue and you need to make complaint to the people who are there, then immediately to British Council, their official email address, right? And then you can complain, uh, you can make a complaint to Cambridge as well and then it's going to be all fine, okay? The purpose of making this video is to let you know if anything happens with you, most definitely you should know what to do. 
Thank you so much guys. I also teach IELTS all over the world online and in campus in Lahore morning, afternoon, night in Lahore. So if you wish to be the part of my online in campus IELTS classes and we book your IELTS exam for you, you just have to stay home and we'll book your IELTS test in Pakistan and Saudi Arabia computer delivered, paper delivered. If you want to get IELTS test booking service, you can contact me for that as well. Asad Yaqub truly wishes you all the best. Take care. Allah Hafiz.